everyone, welcome back and welcome to my new subscribers. Happy winter solstice, nearly at Christmas. Um, so winter solstice is kind of marking the turning point as we move forward into the lighter days. Um, my guide come up with that silly rhyme, winter solstice, what, what was it? Winter solstice is the darkest day, you're being ghosted, why are they acting this way? Basically, it's a why are you being ghosted type type question. Um, it, but the winter solstice is a time of groundwork, it's a time of when things are passing, you know, the end of the nature is kind of all dying, it's getting ready for its rebirth, it's getting ready for the lighter days and that's kind of where the energy is at the moment. So you're going to be feeling in a little bit of a dark place as the, um, as the new lighter days come in you'll be feeling a lot more stable. Um, it's time for doing groundwork, it's a time for focusing on stability, it's a time for focusing on security within yourself. Um, and it's a time for getting ready for the rebirth of things as, as we step in towards the lighter days. Um, it's also a really good time that your people start taking responsibility for their actions. On an earthly le on a, on a spiritual level, that's basically what the solstice talks about. It talks about taking responsibility for what you've been doing for the last six months to a year. Um, so it's quite, winter solstice is always, it's always a really good kind of turning point. Um, and that's why it's important we do a reading today. Um, what was I going to say? Bookings, I'm completely booked throughout December. January, bookings are coming in. The wait list on them is 7 to 10 days at the moment. So if you book now, the wait list will be from the first 7 to 10 days. Um, obviously, the longer you leave it, the more wait list there is going to be. So please just be aware of that. I'm going to carry on running the single email questions over the Christmas period. Um, they are $11, $11 or £8.50 and they are over email so even if you just got one question and you're really like Ali I can't cope Christmas without you yeah, what am I gonna do you can just we can do a single question over email or a couple single questions um or do the January bookings yeah, that's it. The only other thing my guide is mentioning is when, with this video being the 21st, tomorrow we're going into the 22nd, the, it stands for the timing of 2222. 22 to me, 2222 to me is when a situation is never completely over. I know I talk about numbers quite a lot and I say to people, you've really got to work out what the individual numbers mean for you rather than going on angel scribes or angel numbers, etc. Um, because those are very, very generic. Um, but the 2222 to me, is, to me is always when a situation hasn't completed and it's got to come back round. And with it being the winter solstice, my guide is mentioning that, saying it looks like the majority of you is going to come back round. So just bear that in mind as well. Right, so what we're going to do is, why are you being ghosted? That's basically it. Why are they acting this way? Why are they ghosting you? So we're going to go, we're going into fairy tale land because that's always a good way to pick our mood up. We've got Alice in Wonderland. And we've got Wizard of Oz. So these ones are new from my best friend. She brought us some for Christmas. She got them shipped all the way from America because she's a cutie. Number one, number two. So shout out to my bestie Katie. Um, and let's go. So think about you, think about your person, pick a deck. Uh, where we're we going. Again, it's going to be the solar plex. No. The sacral chakra pull. So if you go from two inches uh, beneath your belly button, wear that energy where you feel the pull towards the deck. So if it's that one or that one, pick your deck and that's what we're going to do. Um, the sacral chakra is normally to do with sexual energy. Um, sometimes it can go with the security or stability um, side of things. It can also be to do with liquid. So if you're not drinking enough, um, please get drinking. Okay, let's do. Can you get me into deck number one? Collective energy. So, as always, it's going to pull out the strongest mutual energy between you all. And see what the turning points are for you. Okay, think about your person. Can I get into the collective energy of the person? So, again, strongest mutual energy. I say this every single reading. Um, Regardless of what your situations are and scenarios, it doesn't matter because we're going into all your energy, we're going into all your people's energy and we're pulling out the strongest mutual energy. Can you get into thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions and thought processes? My hands and wrists are absolutely killing from tarot. And I read a lot every single day, but the last three days I've had to do 11 hours of tarot to get all your private readings in. So I'm exhausted, but I must, I'm very good at me spiritual energy. I've kind of got an unlimited petrol tank. I do get close to psychic burnout, but me, 
because uh, I'm a psychic medium rather than a tarot reader, I don't really use my energy. I use spirits energy. So, um, but my hands are hurting. Right, can you tell me why is deck number one being ghosted? What's happening with my beauties of deck number one? Why are they being ghosted? Can't wait for the light of mornings. I can't. I have blooming, I'm, I'm awful in winter. I'm not a morning person anyway. Um, five. Why are they being ghosted? My guide is saying that they're failing to take responsibility, uh, failing to take responsibility for their actions. I've also got the song, it's an old English folk song, Scarborough Fair. It's a bit, um, I don't think it's spooky, but if you're not used to English folk music, which even people in England aren't used to English folk music, um, it can be a little bit, ooh, that's a bit strange song. Um, are you going to Scarborough Fair, Party Stage, Rosemary in Time, something, 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 once I was a true love of mine. Um, overall outcome, please. One. Why are being ghosted to? There is a massive battle with your person about head over heart. Head over heart energy. So your people are currently feeling as if the situation with you has come to a close. Now don't panic about that. Um, the reason for that is because they've been feeling... You've got a death card. Okay, we'll go with this one first. We'll do the bad news first and then we'll go into the good news. That's how I normally do it. Um, which is good because that's where we are and it, it normally happens with your readings. We go through the bad news as you collective and then we get into the better news. So it's kind of how spirit always... Um, do your readings on the collective. I don't know if you ever noticed that, but they do. They go boom and then they tell you the good news as we go along. So your person at the moment is feeling as if the situation has kind of come to a close. They're feeling as if they've um, lost control of the situation, I'm hearing as well. A lot of them have been trying to find their stability and security within themselves and they've been balancing their head and their heart and the energy that's been going on between the both and they haven't found a common ground of that and that has been making them feel unstable and insecure so the heart has been telling them one thing the heart has been saying oh I really love this person I have really strong emotions for them and the head is going well what if this and I'm not good enough and can we be together and what if we can't be together and there's circumstances why we can't be together or whatever equivalent of your individual situations are there is the heart pull and there is the head pull and um, this also spirit is saying there's also a soul pull so their crown chakras are lighting up and that pull is coming to towards you as well so they are feeling at this point in time it's over they're hurting from the situation with the three of swords and they're also feeling trapped so the reason they're not replying to the situation is because firstly they are uh, replying to you sorry um is or, or ignoring you is because there is a lot of fear they're feeling stuck they're trying to weigh up their head and their heart and they don't actually know what to do about it with the two of swords so you've got the two of swords the three of swords the eight of swords and death so they're weighing it up and they're feeling stuck they're feeling very very stuck so they're realizing again if they don't do anything if they don't make any moves towards you they don't technically lose you they just kind of leave you there while they work out what they want and that's why they're not replying to you because they're trying to have a bit of space and work it all through their head and their heart so they're weighing it all up so it might feel as if the situation is over for the moment they're heavily burdened by it as well with the ten of wands they're feeling as if everything is on top of them i'm hearing as well it isn't just you there is a lot of situations going on around your people um as well as you on top and they're just trying to gather that stability that security and do the groundwork with it being the winter solstice to work out what they want and how to progress it so you're they are ignoring you while they're working it all out that's basically it and um, there are really strong feelings towards you they can a lot of them can see that you are the way forward um, you've got the ten of pentacles knight of pentacles and the fool a lot of them can see that you are the way forward again um, they are just pressing pause on it by not making moves towards you and not and kind of blanking you or ghosting you or whatever equivalent while they're working it out. The Ten of Pentacles says that they can see a future with you. They can see a happy family unit or the equivalent, um, but they're just going to go really, really slowly with it and go with the flow of the situation. So they're not going to make any long term plans. They're not focusing on expectation at the moment. They are just kind of a, a blanking you, ghosting you 
going into retreat mode, thinking it all through, and then once they kind of come out the other side of that, which they will do, as the light, as the darker days turn into lighter days, they will come out of the other side, reach out to you, and they will go with the flow of the situation. So when they do get back in touch, or the equivalent of what's happening in your individual situations, they're not going to suddenly go, oh, I want to be with you, I want the commitment, I love you, blah, 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 blah. It will be very slow movement. So we'll start off with, I'm checking up on you, I'm testing the water, I'm seeing how you are, I'm seeing how you feel, I, you feel about me still. Um, and from that, that can then progress forward. Uh, there is a lot of conflicting energies going on. Again, that kind of highlights everything I've said already. Um, the sexual energy between the two of you is really strong and Spirit's saying that's why we needed to pick these decks with the sacral chakra rather than any other chakra. Um, conflicting energies, you're worrying that they are lying to you. You're worrying that they have um, been not, I just heard distrustful, but I, I can't work out how to put that into a sentence. Um, you're worrying that they, you can't trust them. That's right. And they are also worrying that you can't trust them. So both of you are echoing that trusting energy. Um, th they are in fear that they could let you down. And I'm not saying that they will let you down, but those fears are coming up as well. And it goes back to that initial fear of, I'm not good enough. So that's coming through their head as well. So they have got a lot going on. The only thing they do know is how they feel about you. And that will be the driving force back towards you, which is really, really good. And um, so it's kind of a, a not yet, it's a bit of a pause while they're working it all through. Um, there will be movement towards you once they've had this period of rest. They're going to, they are going to um, shake, I just said shake your tail feathers. I want to see you shake your tail feathers. I don't know, I have no idea what song that is, but I just heard that. Um, I wonder if it's a, a sexual song. Anyway, they want to see you shake your tail feathers. So they're going to come back towards you um, after this period of rest, after they've uh, come away from these conflicting energies. Um, it will take, it, some of you you'll hear in a couple of weeks. Some of you, it's going to be longer than that. I'm hearing four as an objective number as well, or I just said objective number. So that could be the fourth of the month, it could be four weeks, it could be four months. Um, again, it's your strongest neutral energy between the two, uh, between the two of you, between all of you, and then between the two of you. My spirit said that, that's weird. Okay, so your strongest mutual energy between everyone watching, and then between the two of you, you're all pulling out of four. So the major yeah, majority of this, you were all at a number four between the two of you, if that makes sense. Basically, you've all got about, you've got a four in how long you've got to wait. Four weeks, four months, four days. It won't, won't be four years. Um, so then they're going to work it out, the truth of the situation. I need to get one more. Can I have the overall outcome, please, for these lot ghosting? For them ghosting, what's the overall outcome? Gathering strength with the hermit, leaving the situation be for the time being while they work it out. Feelings that they are in conflict over the energies as well. Um, and that conflict is making them feel stuck. And once they have unstuck their stickiness, that is when they will come back. So you've kind of got the, the hermit and strength. So they're going to retreat and gather their strength whilst they work out what they're doing. And with the ten of swords, that's kind of like they've left the situation be. Um, they're not. They're going to not do anything with the five of cups and the hanged man. They're just going to sit there in conflict, work it all through with the eight of pentacles. Hierophant, the truth is coming out, movement back towards you with the sun on a unicorn. I love unicorns. So yeah, so it will, it, they will come back round. Um, but basically they're a bit ghosting you because the head is saying one thing, the heart is saying something else and they're trying to override the fears. But if they don't do anything, then they haven't got to make any choices. So that's basically where they are, just pressing pause on it themselves. Um, obviously you can manifest it shifting if your person is in alignment with that. Um, people say to me, oh, I don't want to affect their free will. Manifesting will not affect free will. The universe wouldn't let that happen. Um, which is why I say when I do the manifesting plans, it's always good to have a reading first so I can make sure that you are in alignment with them, that you've both got things spinning in your vortex at the same time so you can come in together. Um, majority of you, Spirit saying, can manifest this moving back around. Uh, you could say something like, Dear Universe, what energy, space and consciousness can I be for blah to reach out to me as if my magic can be totally used. You could do that on the 555. Manifesting videos are always linked in the descriptions just so you, in those of you that don't know what I'm talking about can watch that. Um, anything along those lines? 
So they're working it out, they're doing the groundwork, they're trying to take responsibility, they're trying to get structure, and then once that's happened, they'll move the potential forward and they'll reach out to you. Number two, 1458. God, I've been talking ages. Okay, can you get me into the collective energy of deck number two? So, as always, as I said with deck number one, it's going to pull out the strongest mutual energy between you all, regardless of what's happening in your individual situations. We're using my new Wizard of Oz deck from my best friend. Um, okay. Can you tell me, please? Think about your person. Can I get into their person's collective energy? Got um, time, chase and status. If you can find the time, give your love to me. Just drop me a line. Tell me where you'll be. I love that song. Okay. Thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions and thought process. Sorry, I was just listening then. I was listening to this song and my guide was talking over it. Okay. Let's go. Woo! Can you tell me please, why are deck number two being ghosted? What's going on? Why are they acting? Why are their people acting this way? Why are they ghosting them? You can find the time. Give your love to me. Just drop me a time. Karaoke with Ali who cannot sing but is very very clear audience. <laughs> Three, four. I like my dance music. Well, I like my drum and bass. Bit of a wild child. Five. Why are they ghosting them? Okay, a lot of this deck, my guide is saying they're not ghosting you, you're just panicking because you haven't heard from them. So there is a complete difference within that energy from being completely ignored. Um, you might disagree with me, but that is what my guide is saying. The majority of you, um, you're overthinking it and overdwelling on it. They're not actually ghosting you. You're not being put into a corner. Nobody puts baby in the corner. You're not in the corner. You're still in their thoughts. You're still in their heart and they're not actually ghosting you. You just feel they are. I love that card. Knight of Pentacles. I love that card. Um, and because things aren't happening at the speed you want. Oh God, Symphony of Dog. Oh God. Don't do this to me when I'm recording. Um, right, because things aren't quite going how you want them to and you want everything here and you want everything now and you haven't heard from them, it could be a lot of them are just busy, um, a lot of them are trying to play it cool, a lot of them aren't, um, there is no particular reason why you are being ghosted, um, they are just trying to get, they're just moving, they're just doing stuff really and because you're not seeing any results and you're like oh i haven't heard from them for a week or i haven't heard from them for a few months you could probably um your individual circumstances will all be different but they this person i'm being told isn't fully ignoring you as a collective energy some of you they will be um but there isn't any particular reason why that's happening so it's not as bad as what you think it is um your cards are really really uh, really really good um there is a period of being heavily burdened and you have got the death card okay but what these are saying um and is this is kind of reflecting on your energy as well there is a lot of things that are going on in your person's life like there are in yours and you're trying to get them uh, there you want them to come back towards you and give you that stability but they're trying to get stable within themselves and that's never really that's why you feel like they are ignoring you or if they are ignoring you it's not it's not because of anything you've done. It's all circumstantial. That's what Spirit is saying. So it's really, really good. Um, 
So they're feeling heavily burdened by things. You're feeling as if they've kind of nailed you on the head. They're trying to work it all through at the moment. They are trying to focus on themselves, focus on their life, but you are in the forefront of their mind. They are um, progressing towards you. A lot of them are experiencing dark nights of the soul, I'm hearing. And again, this is what I mean by they're just trying to sort themselves out. There's a lot of spiritual energy around them. They don't really know what they're doing. So they've just got to prioritise themselves first. That's where their energy is, prioritising themselves, which is really good. Um, you're then feeling that they kind of stabbed you in the back and left you alone and not really doing anything towards you. You're feeling more that this is over and you are therefore manifesting it on a subconscious level because you're like, well, they haven't messaged me back and they haven't done this and I haven't heard from them and it's been forever and blah, blah, blah. You are also manifesting this by accident. So anywhere that you are manifesting your outcome of you and them not communicating, destroying and uncreate it. I destroy and uncreate it. Okay? Please say that. Get rid of it. Turn that energy back. You really don't need that energy because these cards and spirit are saying, whereas well, you feel that they are not speaking to you and they're not communicating, um, which is what's happening, there is other underlying reasons for it and it isn't really anything. You, it is to do with you a little bit while they're sorting themselves out. There's nothing um, massively going on. You've got the Ten of Pentacles, you've got the Ace of Cups, you've got the Four of Wands. These are all really good cards. Ten of Pentacles for, um, just Ten of Pentacles? Yeah, Ten of Pentacles. I'm trying to get used to them, I haven't really used them that much yet. Heart-centered emotions, energy, stability, security. Ace of Cups, passionate new beginnings, horseshoe for luck, and the Four of Wands, which is your celebration card. So your person is on their way back to you with your little Toto. Is it called Toto? The dog? Toto card, heart-centered energy. Got the little uh, medal around their neck, coming to sweep you off, coming to be the prize star for you. Um, there's also a card of reconciliation, you've got the Eight of Pentacles, reconciliation, you've got the Empress and you've got the Two of Swords. So really it's kind of these are more your fears than their fears that is blocking this moving forward. It's your strongest mutual energy. Don't shoot me! That's what Spirit are saying. Um, so, reconciliation with the Empress, which will be, um, remember, nothing is ever sexually orientated or gender specific, um, but this is reconciliation with you with heart centered energy, seeing you as the uh, stable family unit, um, or seeing you as stable, and some of you, you have the family unit, but knowing that that is what they want. Um, and so even if you're not in communication and you're not talking, they know that they want this with you. So don't let fears get to you. I said in deck one, there's two emotions, there's love and there's fear. And we either operate from one or the other. We can never operate between the two. So please release any of these fears you have. With the right amount of time, the right amount of space, this person's going to sweep in and, and grab you off your feet. You might disagree with me, but that is completely your choice if you choose to do that. This is what Spirit are saying for your, for your deck. Please step away from fear. Lots of letting go meditations, lots of fear releasing meditations. Remember with letting go, lots of you free card now said that. Letting go is, is releasing the situation so that it can, can come back to you. You know, you can't hold, if you're holding on to a situation, you're holding on to, say for an example, you're holding on to the fact that you haven't heard from them, they're not going to talk to you, they're ignoring you. You are the one pressing pause on that, not them. You're short circuiting your own manifestations you're sort short circuiting yourself moving forward because you're trying to place how they are feeling but you don't know so stop it two of pentacles no two of swords ace of eight of pentacles they're going to make a choice they're going to make a decision they're going to work it out and with all your celebration cards over here you really haven't got anything to worry about Coming back, contact, communication, not ghosting. Fears, 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 fears. Some of you, they are um, not communicating with, and you obviously because of because they aren't. Sorry, because they aren't communicating with you. Some of you will be wondering what it is that you've done and things like that. You haven't done anything. They are just trying to uh, focus on getting themselves in a stable, secure position. 
before they reach out to you. Um, don't text them, don't call them, don't put pressure on them. The more pressure you put on them, the more you're going to push them away. Whilst they're trying to find their stability and security within themselves, remember it's not really to do with you, it's to do with everything else that's going on in their life. So don't, don't make energy that isn't about you about you, because you press pause on it. Sorry guys, just have to tell you what it is. I mean, it's, these are good cards. These are good cards, so stop pressing pause on it. Okay, heart-centered energy, celebrations, new beginnings, having a break, they're sorting themselves up, they're trying to work it all through, they're reaping what they sow, some of you are ignoring them as well, I'm hearing, and um, some of your last messages to them haven't been particularly nice, but if that has been the case, they probably deserved it, so I really wouldn't stress about it, because it's irrelevant to the overall outcome. Reconciliation, balancing, things moving forward. Have faith, have faith, it will all be rewarded, that's what spirit is saying, stop panicking and stop worrying, time is of the essence, if you release the situation you can let the universe do its job. Sorry, my phone cut out then, and then luckily I can merge two videos because someone gave me a lesson on video editing so I can get a bit better, but it was at the end anyway. So if you want to book a private reading, email mysticlovetarot at gmail.com. Remember that I'm booked up throughout December, January bookings are coming in. Turnaround is currently seven to 10 days from the 1st of January. However, that is gonna keep coming up as more people keep booking in, so just be aware of that. Um, I'll let you know at the time that you book what's happening um email questions will carry on throughout christmas and enjoy the rest of your winter solstice lots of love guys bye